This video is property of MBKP International LLC. In this video we're going to um, show you how to install a new laser power supply in our JSM3060U laser engraver. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to unplug your machine. Make sure there's no power to it. Okay, the machine is unplugged, no power is running to it. This is the laser power supply we're going to be putting in it. And this is the ground wire that I'm going to, this is probably the most, it's easy, but it's probably the most difficult part you're going to have in it. This is what you're going to have to attach amongst just a couple plugs in front and this thing right here. So we're going to start with the ground wire. I'm going to show you. I've actually already cut it for another video, but, but here's, you basically want to locate the ground wire on this laser power supply, which is underneath this. So first let's unscrew this, this, this one right here. It's pretty simple. Once it's unscrewed, you can just pull it straight out. And underneath this is the ground wire. You can fill it on this box. It comes out of, it comes out of the back of this box. And it usually has this, this stuff wrapped around it. It's actually, see it's broken now. It was here, I've already cut it. Those were connected before, okay? But once you find the ground wire coming out, cut it about maybe four, three or four inches from this box. Take some wire cutters and just snip it. Okay, and then you'll have this one hanging here and the wire in the box will be hanging out there, okay? Once you snip that wire, that's the ground wire that comes out of the box. You want to leave three or four inches here so you can mess with and three or four inches there, okay? And what you can actually do, you can get your new power supply and you can actually test it without taking this out. So just to see if it is your, the issue you're, you're having. So here's the new laser power supply I'm going to be putting in. There's the ground wire you're going to be attaching and where the power wire goes to and the green plugs. So you want to get this down in here. I believe you're going, to, you're going to put it in at an angle. It's a tight fit, so just go in nice and slowly. And once you touch, get in like that, where this is in about like that. And then you can slowly lift this in as you're pushing down that in. You don't have to push hard, so just slowly bring it up just a little bit. Push there. Kind of a slight tight fit. But just work with it nice and easy, and it will go in. And once it's all the way in, sitting flat on top of the other laser power supply, Everything's ready to go, okay? You want to unplug this, this front one up here. I don't know if you can see it in the video. And just grab the sides of it. Don't grab the wires. Grab the sides. You can wiggle back and forth and pull straight out. It's pretty simple. And the smaller one here, same thing. And just pull straight out, okay? And just bring these up and plug it into this one. There's that one. And there's that one. Okay, they're both plugged in now. Okay, now you're gonna, there's two wires to attach in the back. That ground wire I cut and the red power wire. I'll attach the ground wire first. And you're just gonna need one of these electrical connectors, twisters, I'm, I'm not sure what they're called, I forgot, but anyway. Um, locate the ground wire that comes out of the back of this, the one you just put in. And it should have the, about a half inch of wire exposed. Okay, and now the one you just cut, you're gonna have to, you will have to strip the end of it. This one's already stripped. But basically just take you some wire strippers, and I believe it's number 16, and you just get it on here, and you strip the plastic off about the last half inch of this wire to expose the wires. And again, I believe it's the, the 16 mark that does it for this particular wire. And then you wanna line these two up, match them up, and twist them together. Just you your hand nice and tight. And then take your electrical screw uh, screw thing here. Again, I'm not sure what these are called. Put it on it and keep screwing until it's until it gets nice and tight. And you can feel the wires like twist. See how they're twisting around each other there, and they're nice and snug together now. Okay. And now you can put that down out of the way. And the last wire, could, this wire here that comes out of the back of this box, this goes to the ground post of the laser tube. Okay. And the last thing is this laser, the red one, this goes to the positive post of the laser tube. And you can see it's coming out down here. You see where it comes out down there? Okay, and that goes to the laser tube. Okay, if for some reason, like you see, so this will slide in there more. And if for some reason this won't reach up here, you can slowly slide this out. Just, it doesn't take much. Just pull very lightly and it'll slide out there and it'll give you slack to reach this top one. And then just put, push it in and then screw it on nice and snug. Doesn't have to be real tight, just fairly snug. Okay, now this is attached. Your ground wire coming out of the back of this is attached to the ground wire that you cut from this one here. Okay, and these two green plugs are in. Now you can test your laser engraver. 
And on this one, typically there's a little red button there, but on this laser power supply there's not. So we're gonna have to use a toothpick to push that for testing. Okay, and basically I wanna show you, want you to watch this amp meter, and it's usually around 10. Um, it will jump up to when I push that test button out, that's what it should jump up to. Okay, so let's plug this laser engraver back in now. I need the keys back there to open it up. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. Okay, and just um, we're gonna watch this this needle here, and it should jump up to about 10, somewhere in that area. When I push this button, I'm gonna push the button on this laser power. Let me show you in the video where I'm gonna push real quick though. There's a hole here. So usually again, there's a, like this bottom one has a red post coming out. It's usually like that, and you can just push it with your finger, like that. But this one don't, is a te says test under it, and I'm just gonna stick this toothpick in there and push it. You'll feel a click when you do it. Okay, now let's, I'll do it here in a second, but let's watch the amp meter when I do it. And three, two, one. So you just, you just have to hold it about a half second. I'll do it one more time. And you can see it's working fine. And when you do this on this laser power supply, when you've got a laser power supply hooked up, this green light should be on. Right there, indicating power. And this is a red one over here, but it's not on. It's just, but it will come on when I push this button if you watch that red one over there. See, it lights up when you, only when you push the button. Okay? And let's do a quick test I'm going to show you with, with some cardboard. I need these keys to open up the back end of this. And I'm just going to make sure the laser tube is firing. Okay, when we do this. Basically, as you can see at the end, there's the end of the laser tube and that's the first mirror. Just put a piece of cardboard. There's no burn holes on it whatsoever. But you can place, make sure the cardboard goes between the laser tube and the mirror to block it completely and then close it back down. And we'll do that test one more time, what I did before. Turn on the laser machine. And we're gonna push the test button. Count three, one. And again, you only have to hold it for about a quarter or a half a second. And that's all, it, it should have burnt the hole. And that cardboard, if, if the laser tube's working as well. Because we, and the power supply, I can smell it, so I know it did. But there's the hole burnt on it. Here's just a real quick one. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Let me show you one other thing on this. Okay, once you get that and you realize, okay, this is a good laser power supply, again, unplug it. And basically, you're gonna unplug all this stuff again. Unscrew this. Unscrew the wire you just connected, the ground wire. And then you would take, the, which I'll do here, because I'm gonna take this out anyway. And then just take the, this out the same way you put it in. Okay, and this, this is the good one, obviously. And now you're going to take out your bad one. And all you're going to need is a Phillips screw. You need, to need a pair of pliers because there's three screw, Phillips screw here. There's one up front right there. And there's two in the back. One right there and another one right there. And when you get to this one, you need this unplugged to give you a little more room to get to it. So you may have to hold the, there's a nut on each of these screws underneath the laser grill. You may have to hold that with a pair of needle nose or something while you unscrew this. But once you get those three screws out, you can lift this out just like you lift the other one out. Put the new one in there, bolt it down with those three screws, and then start attaching these things, these the green plugs. This is all with the laser engraver unplugged, no power to it. Attach the ground wire with the, with the electrical connector there. Make sure it's connected good, and they're twisted good, and then the final one would be the positive one back, back in like that. Okay, and then you can do your laser test again just to, just to try it again. This video is property of MBKP International, LLC.